You tell me where to go. Go. What's up, guys? So, last week I told you guys about my dream of becoming like Bruce Lee. And I've honestly haven't done anything about it other than the normal training I've been kind of doing with Alec. Um, but the topic of today, which I don't even know that I had topics, last week I I brought up these things about like finding these passions that I used to have as a little kid or whatever, you know, you can look at it how you want. But to me, um, I've thought about it more in the way that I came to interpret it is, you know, um, I just want to be able to express myself in an unapologetic manner and the way that I used to when I was younger and you know I've noticed that as I've grown up you know like one of my dreams was to adventure right like to travel be like Indiana Jones that was really the dream is to be like Indiana Jones I feel super silly about it and I'm kind of doing something like that to an extent but I feel so shy even talking about it I almost feel embarrassed you know and when it comes to cooking you know I love to cook I'll cook for my friends but I never actually do anything with it in terms of just like, oh, I'll, uh, I get really excited and like make like it's not a big deal, but to me it really is. And I just don't want to have to suppress those kind of things. So I started doing some research. Like I really started looking up all these things on like success and happiness across all these different kinds of mediums. And I found some really cool stuff. And I actually started formulating a plan on how to apply all these things um, to my life so that I don't go into the same, I don't want to call it depression because I don't feel like that's what I have anymore, but I don't want to slip back into my old self. So I became smarter. I began training my mind and I came up with this. Also, I'm not a professional, and I live in a bus, and I'm technically homeless, so take this with a grain of salt. So I made this chart of all the research I found online. These were the things that kept popping up over and over. So the first one is passion. Obviously, you need passion to do anything that pertains to following your heart, um, which is, I think, the thing that I am searching for the most. Um, uh, and the reason I say that is because I'm just realizing how nervous I am uh, wearing this <laughs> wearing this stupid getup. Um, I feel like I'm talking so fast. But the reason I'm wearing this getup is because I'm trying to become more confident. And I felt like this was going to do it. But I am a little bit completely wrong. But it goes with the next thing, willingness to learn. Because now I know how stupid I feel, so maybe I won't do this again. But now I have to stick with it, because I put in all the work, and I went to buy this at the store. So, being persistent, keeping up the good work or the bad work, I'm just trying to stick with it. So, surrounding yourself with the right people, you know, I'm, I'm fortunate enough to say that. I have really good friends and really good support system, and I think that's the only thing that I really have in this chart where I'm like, wow, I really don't have any toxic people in my life, so kudos to me. Thank you to all my amazing friends. All this, whatever, who gives a shit? You need to become a goal setter, is what the internet told me. So what goals do I have? I don't know, I just kinda, it seems like I have goals, but like, honestly, I just bought a bus, started traveling with Alec, and that's it. So I think that reason that I've been kinda down in the slopes or whatever is because you know I haven't really set any actual goals and I've actually been scared don't have any confidence to really talk about them and voice them so my main goals I guess right now are to fix my body I hate the way that I look and I wish that I can change that and I can change that so I'm trying to do that I've actually lost a little bit of weight here in the last couple of months and that's all thanks to Alex, so I really appreciate that. Um, the next thing is to find something that I'm passionate about. I'm, I'm passionate about many things, but I'm not very expressive with it. 
and I think I shy away from trying new things or dressing silly or something just because I'm scared to look stupid. That was one of the main things that I actually forgot to write here. A lot of them said humor and I think I need to be able to have a sense of humor about my failures and I think that might help me become more whatever ex passionate expressive and finding other mediums t from which to express myself and the other one which you cannot see is to make 100 videos once I make 100 videos I feel like it'll be okay to give up on making videos and the reason for that is I've honestly always wanted to do YouTube videos since I was like 23 and I have made YouTube videos since I was 23 but I've always been very shy and I guess spiteful against myself so I always take everything down that I upload so I'm hoping not to do that anymore and just kind of going off of all this um, I've actually contacted some really cool people and I'm lucky enough for them to have said yes for me to come interact with them. So the first person I'm about to see actually today is my friend Dire Wolf Omega. He's the coolest guy ever. And he actually makes his whole life from just expressing himself in all these different mediums. So I thought, what better person to go talk to? So uh, yeah, that'll be cool. Um, and that's where I'm actually going right now. Wish me luck. I'm gonna really be trying to do more expressive things um, and hopefully I learn something from Darwolf. All right, bye.